Hi, Mary here at Mary's Heirloom Seeds and the wait is finally over. I get to harvest our loofah. So I know I've shared with you a few times different updates. This is it. Let's go ahead and turn the camera around and you can see what I'm talking about. I know I've mentioned a few times, you want to make sure that your loofah is yellowish and a little brown, but not black. Because once it's black, it could be rotting on the inside. And I made that mistake more than once. So I brought scissors out here this time and we'll see if we can snip it off. Maybe, maybe not. It's a little hard to do this with one hand. Ha! There it is. All right, there you have it. So I have my nice, soft, uh, yellowed loofah here, and I'm gonna let it sit on the counter for a couple of days until it's nice and crispy before we harvest this loofah. All right, this is super exciting. I'm finally able to film a video harvesting loofah for all of you guys to see. We have a green loofah it is not ready to harvest yet. This needs a lot of dry time and should have been left on the vine for longer. Uh, you don't want to leave them on too long, but you don't want to harvest them too early. This one here is just about right. Uh, it's brown and it's yellow, but it's not black. If it's black, then it could be rotting on the inside. Now this one here is ready. You can hear it. It's kind of crunchy. Now I've seen some people uh, drop it in water and they soak it up first to make it um, a little softer. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go for it today. You can easily add, um, put it in water, but there's seeds in here and I wanna make sure that I get those seeds and that they don't get wet. If those seeds get wet and then they sit in water, they may not be viable much longer. So can join me here. This takes a little while. Let me just peel it right off. Sometimes they come off a lot easier. I've had some where the whole strip peels off and I've had some where I've had to just take little pieces here and there. This is exciting. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. Let's see if I can pull from the bottom up. Now sometimes people will rinse this in peroxide because it's yellow, um, some people like a whiter uh, loofah. I don't mind. Brown is more natural. It's what it naturally uh, comes out to and dries to. If you've seen some of our videos, you've seen that you can actually eat this when it's young. Not obviously <laughs> when it's when it's like this, because I don't think it's very edible. Uh, Lufa is a fantastic homestead crop. It does take much longer to grow than most. You're looking at 150 to 200 days. However, if you use this as a sponge, once you're done using it and it's, and it's lost its scratch, <laughs> uh, you can throw it in the compost and it, it's uh, degradable. It'll just, Turn into organic matter. There's no plastic involved. All of the greenery um, involved in growing your loofah can be thrown into the compost bin as well. So again, adding organic matter to your garden. You can use a loofah sponge in the shower. You can use it to wash your dishes. You can use it to wash your shower. You can use it to wash your house. It's a really nice all-purpose uh, sponge that's really and truly the perfect homestead crop if you have a long enough growing season for it. It's that simple. Look at that. Just have to pull off these extra pieces. And there you have it. How cool is that? So once I rinse this off, I will rinse it off. I'm not just gonna use it right away. Um, I will rinse this off really well and I'll allow it to dry in the sun. 
Once it's dried in the sun, I'll be able to use it. It's that easy. I hope you've enjoyed uh, another helpful, hopefully helpful video here at Mary's Heirloom Seeds. Um, I'm Mary. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always send an email to mary at marysheirloomseeds.com. You can find right now over 650 varieties of heirloom seeds on our website, which is marysheirloomseeds.com. If you get a chance, check us out on social media like Facebook, Instagram, um, and of course, sign up, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you aren't already. I hope to be adding a lot more helpful videos for you. If you've got any suggestions, I'm open to hear uh, your suggestions on future videos. Give you one last shot. Look at that. Homegrown loofah.